Welcome to Ain't Scare Garage. It's upgrade time. Today, we're going to add a tack and colored lights to the dashboard. Stand by. So what we're going to do here is we're going to upgrade this original dashboard. That's the one out of the truck. And we're going to put this one in that I got out of the junkyard. Now we're going to do some work on it, clean it all up, make it nice. But that is nice. Got the tack. And the gauges look a lot better. We got some plastic X that's going to clean up the uh, lenses to make them all nice and shiny. See, this has got a cigarette burn in, so I don't want that lens. But this lens is perfect. It just needs to be shined up. And it'll goof off to get the green off and some red LEDs. Take off the dashboard. It's just pretty much a matter of you want to take these two covers off here. Just stick a screwdriver in the bottom of them. They pop right out. You know, everything snap fit. And then you're going to take out the two screws that are underneath. And everything else in here just pops out. You just give it a pull and it'll pop right out. Once you got it popped out, you want to unplug the fuel switch. And then everything can come right off. Then what you have is just four screws and the whole cluster comes out and you can take it with you. This is a standard dashboard. This is what I have in mind. And nothing wrong with it. But this old dashboard here has a little cluster. Got a cigarette burn here. You know, there's cigarette burns all over the darn truck, but I'm getting rid of most of them. I cleaned this up, it looked pretty good, but this is an XLT dashboard. And it has no cigarette burns. Now, I do have to clean it up, I'll show you. Your four gauges are here, there's your speedo, and there's your tack. Now what I gotta do is I can change the speedo. I'm gonna put the other speedo in where this one goes. That way it retains my mileage that I have on the truck. First thing we gotta do is take this lens off. I gotta clean this mess up. The truck's nice and clean, but this lens is a mess. So. Nothing to it, just take these screws out. Like that, and the lens lifts right off. Now, I think this lens is okay. It's all dirty as all get out. I'm gonna take it over to the sink and wash it, and then we're gonna polish it with the Plastic X. Got that out. Next thing we have to do, take this bezel off. It's pretty much the same deal. Take screws out. One, two. Yeah, just two screws. That's it. And that comes out. Also, has to be cleaned and washed. I mean, it's just, you know, I'm not going to put a dirty thing back. This bezel is slightly different than this one, but we're going to take a look and see what we actually need. Alright, now I'm going to take these two screws out of here. Ah, good old Ford. So we got a belt screw here. And this is a different kind of screw. So I got to get a tool. Obviously the right tool for the job. A pair of pliers. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Told you the right tool for the job. And that screw comes out. Different screw for the different sides. That makes sense to me. No, it actually doesn't. So, oh, the Pernandel. You know, Pernandel. Well, it just doesn't say low, so it's not Pernandel. It's just Pernand. It's the Pernand. It's still called a Pernandel. That's the official word. It's a Pernandel. I don't need this. I got a little manual. But I need the blank out of that to go in here. We'll get to that. Oh, that's right. The speedometer is under the tack and these. So you got to take these off first. They are just plugged in. Be as genteel as we can. There. Get rid of that one. 
put it right there. And gently unplug that one. Put it there. Just put it somewhere safe. An attack. Easy. I heard something go crack. I don't want no cracky cracky. No cracky cracky. There. And that pops right out of there. Like that. These connectors here plug into these little clips here to make the connection. Like I said, I've seen this done, but I haven't seen it done completely. And there must be an ominer. This one I'm not going to need, but I'm going to use it as a test for cleaning off the back side to make sure that everything works the way I want it to. I was hoping that I could get to it this way, but no, you're going to have to do just what they said. All right, so we pull the, the needle just come off. Uh, and they, they're a little difficult sometimes. <clears throat> and they just come off like that and you break them. That's all you got to do. Just break them. Um, wonderful. So now I'm seeing. You want to pull on this. You want to get under it. I picked this trick up when I replaced gauges in the uh, 05 Mustang. I have a couple spoons. And you go on either side. And we're going to just gently do that and it pops right off. Let's see. Now, okay, these pop right out. And that makes that easy. That's why I wanted to use this one first because I don't need this, I need that one. And that comes right off like that. Now, everything looks white to this side. I'm going to put red lights in here so that my gauges will be red. Well, if I put red lights in, guess what? It's going to be whatever the heck red and green is, and I don't want that. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to get all that green off the back. Now, you see that one spot that's red up in between 50 and 60? That's 55. We want that. Well, it's going to be red anyway, so I guess I don't really have to do anything with that. But there's... Certain colors that you don't want to take off. The parts store didn't have regular goof off. It just had this stuff here. But, a little redneck trick here. We're going to... Like that. This is an expensive way to do this, but, you know... I have goof off. I've seen where people scratch it off, scratch the green off. I'm not a fan of that. I don't really want to scratch it off. But I've seen people do this. So let's just see how it goes. Like I said, this is my test subject, so if I screw it up, it doesn't matter. And understand to goof off. Wow. Takes it right off. And took some of the black off. But we could touch that up. So we can touch the black up. All we need is a pin. And we do it on the back side. And this old blind guy's got to go get his glasses. So he can see what the heck he's doing here. So what I want to do is try to keep the goof off just on the white. It seems to be working good. I really don't want to scratch it. I don't, I don't like that idea. All right, if you see down there at the bottom, it's white. It's not green anymore. Right there, there by the zero. Yep. Let's see how this works. Okay, since I know this works, next trick is do these other gauges. Have to do the same thing. I know it works now. All these gauges are green. Now the question is, is this going to work like I want it to here? Mm -hmm. 
And there, that's off of there. Pop the voltmeter off. This voltmeter was reading a little low, I thought. We're gonna see if maybe, I mean, it might not be the meter, it might just be, it might actually be the truck, I don't know. And that just pops right off there pretty easy. All right, here's what I was saying. Now, mind you, most of these pieces are red, so it doesn't really matter. But you still don't want to take the other colors off. If I look up here, and I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see. There you go. Okay, you see the red marks? I don't want to take that red off. I want that to stay on. That way, if for some crazy reason, I decide that I want to put white lights in it, I can. And those will still show through red. The other thing I don't want is these white needles to show green. No, oh, I don't know if you see this. I cleared that off. That's green. If I don't clean that off, it'll show green. Now, the face of this gauge, the way I cleaned it, water. And then just wiped it off. Um, I messed that gauge up a little bit over there. Doesn't mean anything because it's getting replaced. But yeah, this stuff will wind up coming off. But if you just clean it with water, just rinse it good, and then wipe it off. So that's all it takes to clean that up and make it look like you want it to. Now it looks like that. I still got a little green off here, but that's fine. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this up, and then we'll get back. Because you don't want to watch all this. I want to go over one because everything I've seen online, I haven't found anything that has one that shows them doing the whole thing. They just say, oh, just do this. And then they're putting it together. No. All right. This is the tack. When I start cleaning off the backside, I want to get all this green off, all that green off of there. Okay. I don't want to get that blue off of there and I'm not going to put a red bulb in there. I don't want to get that red off of there and I'm not going to put a red bulb in there. The ABS. I'm not even going to put a bulb in there, probably. Uh, check engine is yellow. You don't want to take that off. You don't want to take that off either. You want all those the same, same, these be the same color. The only thing we want to take off is we're going to take off the green. Now, I don't know what these yellow is going to look like with a red light through it. Uh, the red going to look like red. The blue, blue and red, it'll probably be purple, but that'd be fine. I like purple. Now, I found in doing this that this seemed to work pretty good. If I put it down on my phone with the uh, LED on. I don't want to blind you with that LED. And I can see what's green. This goof off works pretty good. I've seen people that got an, a razor blade and they're scraping it off. I don't really like that idea. So I'm just using this here. And see, I can see the green through there. And I'm going to just. Put this on there, just like that. I'm gonna try to keep just in the area that I want to get cleaned off. And like that there, and it looks like it's all green. Turn over, I mean, all clear. When I turn over here, it's all clear. There's a little bit over here, and we'll get that in a second. Yep, I can see there's a little bit of green right here. Clean that off. And it's just a matter of taking your time and getting all the green off. Trying to stay out of the black as much as possible, although the black is quite resilient. I don't see it coming off, but I'm still trying to stay just in the green. I clean that off. There we have it. And that's all you got to do is just work with it and take your time. You're going to go through a whole mess of these things, Q-tips, to get this clean. To get it proper clean. Because you want to get all that green off. Just like that there. Now, 
I'm going to stop here just a second. You don't want to sit through this whole mess. I want to show you something. See, I got them, I got spots showing through right here. White spots. That's where some of the black did come off. Take my Sharpie. Turn it over here where the spots are, right there. I'm just blind it myself. Now I can't see a dang thing. Now if you look there, let's see here. Okay, that spot is just above the line. There it is right there. Yeah, see that line is gone now. It's there a little bit. I'm going to do a little more touch up on it. There, and there you go. It's all gone. That's all you got to do. Any of the spots where you see, uh, of course it doesn't anywhere else because I haven't done anything. Any of the spots where you see the light shining through the black, just turn it over. Use a Sharpie and cover up the black. Now what we need to do is put these back on here. I'd really appreciate it if you'd do me a favor and click the like button. That way other people can get this video and they can do it to their car or truck if they want to. I appreciate it. Thanks. I don't need much of this stuff. And if I ever have to take it off, I don't want to have to fight it. And we'll use my guides again right there and there. All right, 60 seconds won't be for you. When you're cleaning this up, don't let these little dots mess you up. There's little white dots all around it here. I want to say there's shift points, but if there were shift points, it would have to be five. I have no idea why the dots are there. All right, now put our pins in here. I know this one swings all over the damn place. No matter where you put this on, it swings everywhere. Yep. Alright. That's one. That's our speedometer. Put things back together. Um, this, that's here. This is here. This is here. Cameras drive me crazy. Okay, so it's just like the other one. Only thing was where the Pernandel was. I've got the Pernandel here somewhere. Anyway, the thing that said park and all that. This one come out of here. Same thing, two screws there. And it's just a blank. See, that's exactly the same as the other one. But we don't need the Pernandel, we need the blank. Now this doesn't plug into anything here because this has a plug right here that a wire comes right into it from the truck. This is what stores your mileage. So when this goes back into this, the mileage will be exactly the same. Now we're just gonna go to reverse what we did. Speedometer. The speed is gonna go in first. And it just sets right there like that. Leaf, uh huh? Tack goes on this side. Now this one here, I want to make sure it connects into the connectors, just like that. I believe the fuel was on this side. I hope so. <laughs> okay, so here, what we can do. So it can't go over there, so it has to be this one. It has to go here. Mm-hmm. Yep. That goes into its connector right there. This one's gonna fall into this connector right here. And we'll give it line it up. Push it in, make sure that everything is connected into their connectors, and that looks like a dashboard. Instead of the Pernandel. Where did I put this one in? <laughs> and that's going to go right here. And at this point, it is no longer 
an automatic dashboard. Now stick shift dashboard. And again, we get the right tools. Since these seem to be identical, I can use this one. This is the one off of my truck. They're my LEDs. These are supposed to be red. Usually they got the color on them. Circuit board, I don't see any red colors, but I think they'll light up red. Alright, now. So this one's along the bottom. I'm sorry I didn't get a white LED. For the turn signal, I didn't think about it. Maybe we'll do that later, maybe. But, for now, since I know the ones work on here, I'm gonna grab these bubs, and we're gonna put them in here. That's all it is too, is just twist them, pull them out, twist them, put them in. Nothing to it. Goes in there just like it would, just like the bulb does. Where's the bulb? There's the bulb connection. There's the LED connection. They go in the same plot spot. Let's go see how these uh, gauges work now. See if they're even close. <laughs> that spot. And that spot and that spot. I'll get this plug, this plug, and then this plug. Now, on the original, I believe this one here ran this way instead of this way, but it's the same plug. So let me plug this in, then we'll see what we got. All right, got everything plugged in. I don't know where everything's going to fall to. Turn the key on and see what happens. Okay, the bolts went way up. And the gas went way up, which is wrong. And the tack's wrong. Yep, so let's see. Yank that. Okay, there we got the red gauges. Beautiful. Everything works. Oil price looks a little high. I'm going to let it warm up and see where the temperature goes to. I think that's right about where the fuel was. The bolts look mm, close to right. We'll check the voltage at the battery and see what we got. But that's what I'm really looking for, that right there. And that tells me that this thing does idle high. I don't see this idle in at 1,500 RPM. I think that's wrong. And we turn the lights off. Just the regular dashboard. Lights on. Everything's red. That's cool. Love it. I don't know if this shows on here like it shows for me, but man, I love that. That is just awesome. I'm so happy with this gauges. Um, they don't show quite like they actually do here. Let me see if I turn it down. Maybe I can get it to look like now. Nah. Nope, you can't really tell, but yeah. They're awesome. Love it. The one caveat I gotta tell you about with this is I can't find anywhere where there's any information on the gauges self calibrating or how to calibrate the gauges. I just can't find it anywhere. So to me, if you know a better way, you let me know. To me, the only way to calibrate the gauges is to pop the needles off and put them back on where it looks like they should be. And that's what I did, and I, I used the ways to track my speed and set my needle there, and I checked the volts on the on the battery, and I set my needle there for the voltage reader. I know right about where the oil pressure runs. I know right about where the gas was, so they were easy enough to do. The only one I'm not sure about is the tack. I gotta get a dwell tack so I can see if I'm even close on the tack. But I don't really use the tack. I just wanted it for the style. So that's about all it takes to do this. I mean, it's a little tedious, but you can do it. Just take your time. Till next time, see ya.